I wanted to talk today about Alzheimer's. Some physicians are now calling Alzheimer's diabetes type 3 because of the involvement with insulin resistance and, and sugar and blood sugar and those kind of things. So uh, the Washington Post reported that about 5.8 million Americans today have Alzheimer's and by 2050 they estimate that that's going to go up to 14 million. Now today you may also be a caregiver, uh, one of the 16 million caregivers. So while you may not have Alzheimer's, um, you probably know someone who does. I know my, my grandfather had you know, uh, Alzheimer's later in life and he started to forget things and it was very sad because he was such a you know, disciplined, took great care of himself, took great care of his teeth and I watched his teeth decline very, very rapidly. And you know, this may be able to be prevented. Uh, some new research done by um, the AAP, which is the uh, American Association of Periodontology, found that one of the bacteria in gum disease is uh, closely related to the formation of amyloid plaques. And amyloid plaques are what uh, basically clog up your brain. And so if you, you know, have Alzheimer's or dementia or some of these other uh, you know, brain diseases where you can forget or short or long-term memory loss, these plaques form around your brain and they uh, prevent you from remembering things. And so uh, this research found that, you know, gum disease bacteria was closely related to the formation of these plaques. And so what that can mean for you if you are a caregiver or if you want to, you know, help a family member avoid that situation uh, you know, getting gums and teeth healthy is a key factor, and more and more research is coming out proving this. We see it every day in, in my office, but there's also lots of research from both medical journals and dental journals showing us that, uh, you know, Alzheimer and these other diseases can uh, be prevented in many ways. Now, what things you want to look for is, you know, do you have parents or grandparents that have had Alzheimer's? I do. And so that's an important risk factor in my life. I also look at diet, uh, health, you know, exercise, and then of course what I'm eating. So, uh, you know, if you overeat or eat the wrong kinds of foods and don't get the proper vitamins, you can have blood sugar imbalances, um, and it can also lead to feeding the bacteria that cause tooth decay and gum disease. So, you know, really take some time to look at those risk factors, look at what's in your family, look who's around you that maybe you're caring for already, and think about ways you can help them not only keep their mouth healthy, but diet and exercise. And hopefully that'll help you know us as a community be able to get the word out so that there's less of these you know really frustrating and uncomfortable and, and debilitating diseases that we can um, you know prevent in many cases. So have a great week and thanks for watching. Until next time.